December, come the month of December, which is the last month in 2016, and a harbinger of the wonderful aspects that we are, all the zodiacs are going to get in 2017. Now, I'm just not being positive, I'm actually being very realistic because they say that the last couple of years for some of the zodiacs have been very stressful. And uh, the aspects in 2017 are going to be wonderful, but the seeds have to be sown in December. Sagittarius, the month of December for you, you're still very much in a happy period, still in a yearly personal pleasure week, the body and personal appearance just shine through as you get a makeover. You will exude a star quality and unbridled optimism. There is prosperity happening too as Saturn receives much positive stimulation. Earnings are increasing, the financial windfall happens. On the 21st, the sun enters your money house and you begin your yearly financial peak. And remember, your year is from your birthday to the next birthday. You will feel the effects of this even before the commencement has started. Your love planet Mercury is out of bounds from the 1st to the 17th. This shows that you are looking for love outside your comfort zone. For those of you in relationship, it indicates socializing, attending parties or events outside your normal sphere. Now Mercury out of bond, uh, when Mercury is out of bonds, the conditions also impacts on your career. Opportunities come from out of the way places and out of the way people. Bosses can make demands that are outside the norm. A parent of parent figure is outside his or her own comfort zone and so you need to temper with their tantrums also. Health is excellent for you this entire month. You have all the energy you need to achieve whatever you want to achieve. If you like, you can enhance your health further through massages and holistic um, therapies, you could say like meditation, yoga, etc. Now, until the 7th, you're pretty conservative in health matters and you will gravitate to orthodox kind of therapies. However, after the 7th, you become more experimental. Last month on the 22nd, the planetary power began to shift to the lower half of your horoscope. Career goals have mostly been attained, the short term ones anyway, and now it's time to begin to focus on your family, friends and your own emotional well-being. Your busy outer life could have pulled away from your point of emotional harmony and now it's the time to get back to it. When the lower half of the horoscope is dominant, we are in the night time of our year. We don't ignore career or outer objectives, but we approach them in a very different way and an inner kind of way. Pay attention to your dream, pay attention to your visualizations and get into the mood and feeling of whatever we want to achieve or we have set our targets on. We are acting but, an in, but in an interior rather than an exterior way. Jupiter, the ruler of your horoscope, is standing in opposition to Uranus from the 19th onwards. So drive more carefully as accidents can happen due to other people's negligence, maybe not your own. So be more patient with neighbors and siblings and try to avoid arguments and confrontations. End 2016 on a happy note so that you have a strong, happy 2017. Good luck. For the best dates, career, your stressful days and your money and honey dates, please get into my website and check out for the UR Link Foundations for 2017. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because these predictions are generic and for some they may completely comply with you, for some it may not because you must remember that a personalized chart where you know where your zodiac placements are placed, that is what you need to know. So for that, you can always get onto my website and contact us. Thank you.